Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Marilyn for those of you who don't know me and today's video is all about daytime makeup. So before we get into this video, guys, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell so you can be notified when I post a video. Now, I thought it would be fun to do a daytime makeup just because I know a lot of people really don't know like that they can actually apply a light, you know, makeup and still look good and not have to do heavy contour or heavy highlighting. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so for the primer, we're going to be using the Maybelline Master Prime. And this is a blur and pore minimizing primer. This one is in the number 400. I'm just taking this on my finger and just dabbing it into the pores. Like I said in a previous video, I don't like putting on... Um, Pore minimizing, my, pore minimizing primers on my nose just because I do feel like it leaves my nose with a weird texture and it doesn't let everything uh, like it doesn't let foundation and concealer sit on it right so I do not put this on my nose at all just in my t-zone area and unfortunately that's where I get the biggest pore so I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion as always and I'm just gonna go ahead and prime the lids and we'll just blend that out with our finger the great thing about this um, primer is that when you apply it's super super lightweight and you really don't need to be putting on eyeshadow to apply this so like if you naturally have oily eyelids which we all do um, yeah, this is really great to have um, just control over those oils in your eyelid. So you can wear this without putting on any eyeshadow or any makeup. Next thing, we're going to go ahead and just put on some concealer. I do like to put on an eyeshadow uh, primer and then put on some concealer just because I do want to have a barrier between the oils and then um, the concealer is just to uh, cover up any blueness or darkness or any veins and stuff like that. So that's why I do use concealer on top of the eyeshadow base. So I'm going to be picking up my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to make sure that this is all even. This is their newer uh, beauty sponge and I have to say, this sponge, I don't know, I believe it was $5. Yes, it was $5. I found it at Target. Um, but it's super, super flexible. It's so soft. Like this is an amazing beauty sponge. Like I like this one so much and I was so surprised because I've tried elf sponges before and some of them were just a little bit too firm, but this one's super flexible. I love the shape. I love that you can get really into anything, any little places in your face. And I think this is amazing. Like for $5 is a great buy. Now, another great product that I found was this one. Now, this one is the Truly Madly Deeply Palette by ColourPop. And you guys can just see that it's super, super pretty. It has a lot of shimmery shades, some of that gel-like glitter. Um, but this palette is super, super fun. And I thought this palette really can go from daytime to nighttime. So... Yes, this palette is the palette we're going to be using for our daytime look today. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the Golden Gate Bridge. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M562 brush. And I'm just going to start working this on the crease. So now that we put that color in the crease, I'm going to go ahead and go into May to Last with another Morphe brush. This one is the M506 brush. Now this one we want to be super light with. We don't want to have too much pigmentation because we are trying to go for a softer look. 
So we're just going to softly work that into the crease. We're not going to put too much pressure. The best way to do that is just holding your brush at the really end and blending. So since I want to go ahead and add just a little sparkle to the eye, I'm going to be using the Stila Little White Lies Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Peach Pretense. And then I might just top it off with some ColourPop uh, Super Shock Shadow in Chrysalis. I think that's how you say it, but I'm really not sure. And I went ahead and just swatched both of them on the back of my hand for you. So obviously this one is the Stella, and then this one's the ColourPop. As you can see, the ColourPop is a little bit lighter, whereas the Stella is a little bit more pigmented and just there. <laughs> Um, but I think both of these shades are really, really nice, especially uh, this one. This one's really nice in person. It's not really translating well on camera as well as the Stella. So I might just go in with the Stella at first, and if I need to top it off with the ColourPop, then I will. So because I want to be a little bit more precise with the application, I'm going to go ahead and just um, not use the Stella brush applicator. I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe M124 brush, and this is just a flatter um eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up the product on that brush I'm just gonna concentrate it on the lid and I guess give it like more of like a ombre effect now that I have just like a nice base going on I am gonna go ahead and pick up that color pop And I'm just gonna apply that to my brush. Ooh, and it picks up really nicely on the brush. I actually picked up better than the um, the Stella. So I'm just gonna go ahead and top it off. And that's just such a nice combination because the ColourPop actually has it's a little bit more wider. And the Stella is a little bit just more shimmery. So when you combine it, it really looks amazing. So now I really want to make sure that there's no harsh lines. And I do want to blend out those two shades together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Morphe M321 brush. And this is just a, a more dense brush and it's like a pointy brush so you get more precision and I'm just going to go right back into the crease and just make sure that these colors are blended. So now that that looks great, we're going to go ahead and do some foundation and then afterwards we're going to go ahead and just put um, some eyeshadow on the lower lash line. But I don't want to do it just right now because I mess it up every time I put on concealer. So let's go ahead and jump into the foundation. Um, so for today, I'm going to be using the MAC uh, Studio Sculpt Foundation in NC40. This foundation is mostly for people who have uh, dry skin and because I'm feeling super dry today I think it would be great just to use it um, the shade isn't really the best color match it is a little bit darker um, I probably should should have got a lighter shade but I'm just gonna be using this one anyways and just hoping that it works out for the best <laughs> As you can see, I'm taking just like the little bit of foundation that I do have left on my brush and I'm taking it on the under eye region. And I don't want to put too much product there because I will be putting on just um, a little bit of concealer. But it's so important that you're not caking your makeup and you're just really trying to make everything, you know, smooth and everything really just last like you don't want to put too much daytime is like okay we're gonna put on a little bit of makeup but we're gonna make it look good now I'm just gonna use the blender just to blend out anything that I have, may have missed 
Next, I'm just going to go ahead and take some concealer and I'm going to go ahead and just hit the under eye region. And I'm not going to be putting so much because it is daytime. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply right here, apply out here. And that is more than enough for me. If you do feel like you need to apply more, feel free. We're going to go ahead and put some eyeshadow on the lower lash line. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and just put some translucent powder on. So. I have here the Ciate um, Translucent, Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I have not used this one yet, so we shall see how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up some of this powder, just a little bit. And I'm just going to place it down here. taking my morphe m508 brush and i'm going to be picking up the golden gate bridge again and made to last so i'm doing that together tapping off any excess and we are now hitting the lower lash line And you can just see that line that I made just doing that, but it's okay because I'm going to blend it out so I don't need to worry. I'm going to take this small blending brush by Morphe and I'm just going to make sure that we blend this out. We're going for a more daytime look. I'm going to go ahead and use a mineralizing bronzer just because I want it to look more natural. I don't want to use a contour powder just because it's going to look just too much. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. This one's by MAC and it's in the shade uh, medium deep. And I'm taking just any, um, I guess like a blush brush, I guess. And I'm taking this. And I'm just going to go ahead and start applying it like a contour and just bronzing it up. feel like you guys don't know the full potential of your eyeshadow palettes like you can be using this like these colors yes they work good on your eyeshadow but some of these work good as blushes like this color would be so nice as a blush so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that powder that I use uh, to set under my eyes just because it is a little it's a flatter brush and it's gonna really go into that small pan and I'm gonna take lay low and I'm really gonna apply it as a blush onto my face. Oh, I don't know, but this video turned into a daytime slash color pop because literally i use color pop on my eyelids i use color pop as my blush i'm gonna use the color pop lippy stick i'm gonna use the color pop lippy pencil so color pop it is so i'm gonna be taking the shade uh, bff3 and i'm just gonna go ahead and start uh Lining my lips. I 
go ahead and use the lippy stick and this one is in the shade Parker. is so creamy this is actually my first time trying this lippy stick from ColourPop, and wow like wow literally wow i can't wait to buy some more like does that look good i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and i'll be right back Alrighty, guys so i went ahead and took care of my brows now we're gonna go ahead and just put on some mascara today i'm gonna be using the Too Faced with the sex mascara I know I uh, I really like this um, mascara, and I know a lot of you really like this mascara too. Um, they do have a waterproof version of it if you guys have a more uh, straighter lash. I heard that if you put on uh, waterproof mascara, that it works phenomenal. This is what a good mascara will do for you, okay? We're gonna go back to the side A, where it's like, where are my lashes, non-existent? And then we're gonna go to side B, where it's like, yes, honey, you got lashes! And it just like completes the whole look. Like, it's, it's crazy. What I'm gonna do just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger is I'm gonna take the NYX um, eyeliner. Uh, this is in the shade white and I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my waterline. Hey guys, and you can just see what a difference the white liner really made on my eyes. I mean, my eyes look a lot bigger. It makes you want to look at them a lot longer. Maybe, I don't know, that's debatable. <laughs> But um, definitely, uh, I did actually put on some individual lashes because I felt like my eyelids needed to look, well, my eyelashes needed to look a little bit more fuller. So I went ahead and put on the Ardell um, individual lashes. And I like these because they look super, super natural still. And they really make the eyelashes look a lot fuller. Alrighty guys, well that completes today's look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, so please remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also share this video with your friends and your family.